we are over delighted to have this occasion to launch this project and to sign the contract. So we are here today to sign a contract for the removal and regulated disposal of 8,200 square feet of asbestos material, the installation of 8,200 square feet of metal roof and the removal and replacement of 4,148 square feet of ceiling. And so for the avoidance of doubt, the Embassy of Japan Grassroots Project is not funding for the religious programs of the St. Luke's Anglican Church Organization. It is a community, out it is a community outreach programs of the church for, the, for crossroads and the surrounding environment that funding is being provided. The programs consistent with the grassroots project that we will continue to operate are our feeding program, provision of, and this is new, internet facilities in the hall to underserved students in schools in the community, housing graduation exercises for our usual school clients, the provision of health services and health education to the community. The hall is to be used as a center for music education using instruments already in possession of the church. Continued availability of the facility to the electoral office of Jamaica as an election center for and polling division for the constituency. The Overseas Examination Council for examinations of independent candidates for CXC and other exams. To the JCDC for festival and cultural activities. And a host of others including response to national or community disasters. I, I wish to thank Mr. Sato for his patience and guidance as we went through this process. The aim of this project is uh, to prevent uh, the adverse health effect of the local residents who benefit from various community activities by creating a safer and suitable environment for the continuation for, of community outreach program. I commend uh, the work of St. Luke's Church, which offers a wide range of activities. It has a track record of long-standing social contribution activities for the community residents of St. Andrew's Southern Region. Upon completion of rehabilitation works, there will be a resumption of food and medical support, as well as youth and child care education program in a safe environment. We also need to transform our society to ensure the sustainable and resilient future growth as well as socioeconomic livelihood. And that is why our embassy supports this project. We believe that it is highly important to put in place the relevant resources, social programs, and infrastructure to advance equal opportunities for children in the community, adult learners, and the risk individuals so they can improve their skills and education levels and be empowered. Under this new project, funding in the amount of 84,120 US dollars, approximately 13 million Jamaican dollars is being provided through the Embassy of Japan's grant assistance for grassroots and human security project program. Jamaica has a great potential for further advancing its economic and social development activities as a progressive nation.